everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119, also HarbachElectronics.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. So we have an Ameritron AL811 amplifier. I worked on this, uh, I think a few years ago, I forget what the customer said, but um, he had a lightning strike. So uh, he sent me the amp, he was having an issue, so I looked it over. One of the meter lamps is out, so I'll change both with new LEDs. Um, has regular incandescent bulbs right now. So this was this board was purchased from Ameritron when they were still selling parts, and the straps are really rigid. I started swapping these out when I would see this. So so a while back um, I started just right off the bat because these these can end up snapping these ones have not snapped but I'm gonna swap them this is uh, this is like I said directly from the factory that was doing that so um, you want these straps to be nice and flexible where they connect to the board okay, so I'll fix that real quick uh, one of the sockets has an issue uh, must have put the tube in at an, at an angle or something because the clips are pushed down. So I'm going to have to replace that middle socket. The other ones look okay. Uh, SO239 still look okay from Max Gain Systems. And uh, so once I get the socket fixed, I, mean, I don't see anything obvious. So when I get the socket fixed, the straps fixed, I'll plug a set of tube, brand new set of tubes in and try it. I mean, the Penta tubes, they the emission is very low, so uh, maybe caused by the lightning strike. I don't know, but gas discharge tubes look okay. So I don't, I don't really know. It's a crystal ball type situation, and I don't, I don't have one. So we will uh, get to work here, and I'll let you guys know what I see. But his radio did fry. I guess he said that he said that he sent that in to get fixed, and. Lightning got up through the USB port, I think he said, or some port on the radio, but uh, fried all sorts of stuff in the radio. So, okay, I'm going to get to work. See you guys soon. Okay, so the damaged socket is out. Let's see. So I'll have to replace this, and uh, it's fun getting that all resoldered without damaging anything. See you guys in a bit. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm back with the completed Maritron AL811. Yeah, 80 here. Settings. Three point seven megahertz. One kW slug. PP kit is on. Going into a bird dummy load. Radio set to a little less than fifty watts. Audio hello hello. Kit. Audio hello, audio hello, 600, 600, a hair over 600. Audio hello, 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 hello. Audio hello, 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 hello. Audio hello, 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 hello. Audio hello, And she's working as she should. I'll continue testing the other bands going up. And uh, if everything's good, I'll pull the cover off after I unplug it, let the voltage bleed down, and then I'll show you everything I did. See you soon. Okay, so I'm back here with the completed amp. I'll show you what I did. First off, I replaced the straps. They're really nice and flexible. Got a brand new set of Pentalab tubes. Awesome, awesome, awesome company over there. Great people. Replaced the middle socket. I replaced the solid lead going between the last socket and the middle socket. Everything soldered real nice, nice. Touched up on some other solder joints. Tightened up on hardware. Replaced the meter lamps. Put in new LEDs. Put the proper dropping resistor in. There are two resistors in series with the LEDs within the meter movements. And then there's one over here that's connected to the board. Okay, so clean the TR relay contacts, deoxy gold, clean the input rotary switch with deoxy gold, output rotary switch with deoxy gold, 
it's just a real pain changing that socket. Shaft came out, rear shield came out, and just had to be really careful. So it's all set. Just remember when you go to plug your tubes in, just always make sure you're going straight down. Don't go at an angle. Don't rip them out at an angle. You, you can end up damaging the clips for the socket. And also, also make sure that the two large pins are going in the two large holes because if you press down you can get the two large pins to go through the, the other holes and you can possibly damage things. Okay, so that's about it. If you need any app repaired, feel free to give me a call. To, uh, phone number is 203-892-4119. Websites are amprepairguy.com, also harbachelectronics.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day.